Right now then, I am in a small Spanish island in the Mediterranean Sea and the island is called Mallorca. Some of you may have heard of it. If you're a Brit, you've probably been on holiday here. But the flights are cheap and there are adventures to be had. So I have just... Oh, did you spot it? Yeah, uh, by the way, small twist, I'm kayaking. I came through this cove, this little cove, got it to myself. I'm extremely lucky. There's lots of millionaire ships, you know, just anchored down in this beautiful crystal. Oh, it's amazing. I'll show you in a minute. But there was a bit of a trek to get here, okay? Making sure the compartments are secured down, otherwise, my stuff is going right down there. <laughs> Wind is insane. Oh, I'm such a rookie. It feels nice to try something different, but to do this on your own, it's probably not the most safe. So I've been on the water now for a good two and a half, three hours, and it's baking hot. It's, it's, a, it's a good baking hot. I'm just using the salt water to cool me down, but it's, it's drying on me and I can just feel the salt crystals. Oh, this is nice. Got a few calluses and blisters on my hands. This is a workout. Like, give me mountains in the 30 mile day. Ow. Ow, my eye. Oh, see, I don't like it when it goes from turquoise blue to just dark. <laughs> what am I doing? You know when you just think to yourself, how have I ended up here? Like, what the f... Like, out there is... Chores. No, oh, thank you. Very paranoid. I keep looking for fins. you got to conquer your fears somehow. Nice. Now this is quite calm. This is beautiful. Ah, <sighs> and relax. already done probably five or six miles down the coast I came from there that's where I picked the kayak up I'm heading down here I'm looking for a, a cove look so there should be like an inlet on the cliffs in the next mile or two up there and there's a nice cove apparently so I could try camp there tonight still trying to get the technique down Sometimes I'm rapid, you know, I can just But sometimes it just skims it and it's <laughs> It's all about learning There's a bird there This looks like a cove maybe Hopefully I nearly just uh, capsized <laughs> it's not even funny. Oh, like that. You just too much and boop. Can I see a cove? I think it may be. Wow, I got here quick. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is packed, isn't it? Let's uh, check it out. Hmm. What? Look at that. It took me like half a day, but I'm finally here. Got my like shirt on. I'm on holiday, even though it's not a holiday. It's, uh... Let's just, let's begin. So, let me show you the kayak. Let me show you the kayak. What are we dealing with? Nothing special. 
I've rented it for three days. Got a decent price. All my kit is in the dry bag. Got a life jacket over here. So this will hopefully keep me safe. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So it's, uh, I don't even know what brand, Rainbow, cool. As long as it floats, I am happy, but it's got a compartment for storage for your phone or GoPro, etc. And then other storage in the front. It's uh, spare paddles, everything you need. So I started on the south east coast and made my way basically from there all the way here. It was about eight miles of kayaking, which is a long time if you don't know. Ooh, my arms are feeling it. <laughs> Let me just show you this place. Uh, by the way, I'm carrying just not much at all. Not much at all. I've got water. I've got food. I just need to top up my water. And I go past holiday resorts anyway. But this is uh, something else. <laughs> the sun has actually gone in, which is it's nice. It's been blazing, 28 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit. I'm not too sure. But I say we go for a little kayak. You know, nothing too. Fancy, just go around the cove, you know. Just making sure this is on. Need to go the skirt. Just stops your lap from getting wet. Push off. Okay, and we are away. Floating. Love it. This is like the Amazon or something, wouldn't you? With all them sounds. Poland. A France flag as well. Okay, now that's done, let's go for a dip. <sighs> I've worked up a sweat. <laughs> Come on, shoes on. like a little a river. The priority now is to stash this somewhere. I'm gonna head this way over and about a mile away to a store because I need some water. I've got about half a bottle left in the back, so water is a priority. I'm nice and fresh after a dip. I'm gonna go snorkeling tomorrow morning, which should be nice. Uh, maybe there, I don't know. I'm sure I'll be fine if I leave it somewhere. Let's see if it's obvious. It's actually in there. Nope, that's pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, we've got some climbing to do. Made it back to camp and I think it's time to look for a place to sleep. I was thinking maybe here, but it's kind of like in the open. So, got choices up there in the hills, little caves, or if that fails, I can walk along the, the shore and try to find like a flat spot. Doesn't matter. I haven't brought my tent this time purposely just to 
just to try something different. Mosquito net and the sleeping pad with a bit of a, like a floor. So we'll see. Oh, it's nice. So quiet. Let's go. Look for a spot. Found a nice spot just above where I am, right down there, the kayak. So I've got a tree branch I can use to attach my mosquito net. Relatively flat. I'll clear it and it should be good. I've just checked my clothes, luckily. And look at the size of that tick. It is huge. I'm gonna have to check all my stuff. <laughs> that is disgusting. Anyway, that's it. Nothing special, but should do the job. It just tucks under the sleeping pad, making sure no mosquitoes or bugs gain. So yeah, happy with that. You can hear like the crickets or cicadas. Is that what they're called? Oh man, it's been a good day. Like putting yourself in these uncomfortable positions. I mean, you learn a lot about yourself. And today was a, I felt like a school kid. Do you know, like your first day at school? Boy, it was good. I learned a lot. And tomorrow, definitely not doing as many miles because that I did way too many today. I probably did about eight to 10 miles, which is stupid. Doesn't sound a lot, but in a kayak and the seas were choppy, like really rough. Stu I shouldn't have, and I went out super far. Like you're supposed to hug the coastline, but the swell and like just the white water that was smashing against the rocks, I was like, I'm staying clear of that. But it, it throughout the day, it just kind of like calmed down and I got into this cove and it was, yeah, bliss really, tranquil. I'll see you all in the morning. Started to rain, middle of the night. Ugh. So, that's what happens when you don't bring a tent. <laughs> On the forecast, it was fine. It said it was clear, but I don't know. You can't trust it. All good. Well, it's not massively. My stuff's a bit wet. Good job it's still quite warm. Uh, so I might have to use this as like a tarp. Uh, I'll figure out. This place is going to have to do. At least it'll be dry. Good night again. Good morning. So, this little cave is giving me a good sleep. It's 10 a.m. I've got a light in. It's been raining on and off, and it's finally kind of like stopped. So, I've been well covered in here. So, it's time to get up, check the kayak still there, and see what's happening. Kayak is all packed and ready. Nobody stole it, so that's good. The sun's come out, slightly cloudy, but I'm happy with that. Nice and cool today compared to yesterday. Just been taking some shade over there. Stuff's charging. Oh, it's gonna be a nice day. So I'm gonna head out the cove, turn right, and there's like a tourist beach. I might head on to there, do some scuba diving, not scuba diving, just snorkeling, <laughs> and then see where the day takes me. Let's go. And we are floating. So head in this way.
so clear, man. Look at this. I just had a thought, and I should not be thinking this while I'm in the ocean or in the sea. But right, if you were <laughs> so, if you to think all these kayaks were animals, right? If there was a shark in the water and it's seen all of these kayaks and me at the back, it would think I'm the wounded and go for me. These are the type of thoughts I have. Stupid. What is, there's no need. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch them up. Sorry guys, you're gonna get eaten. Houses on a cliff. That is cool as. And there's like steps going up. wave at them, see what they do. <laughs> nope, no wave back. If you've never kayak before, I'm gonna give you a quick lesson. I'm, bearing in mind, this is my like second or third time kayaking, so I am no expert, I am awful. But if you wanna go left, you paddle right. If you wanna go right, you paddle left. Same if you wanna back up. If you wanna go backwards right, you put your left in. Yeah, same, same, same. You get the gist. It's nice because it's pretty calm right now, but when you're out there, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit scary. Just gotta go with the flow. Let the sea do what it wants. Don't go against the advisor, it will capsize you. Look at them guys, <laughs> in tandem. I've got double the horsepower. Ugh. Effortless, look at them. Technique, and then I'm here just chopping at the sea. Look how turquoise blue this water is. So calm. So you can see it, but there's a jellyfish. Where is it? It's one of the kayak. There was a little one right next to me. Little Mr. Jellyfish. I got for lunch then? Cocktail of nuts. Nice. So yesterday while I was on the way here, I stopped at a cafe and the owner let me in to use the toilet for free, you know, without paying. Not a lot of owners do that, so he was really nice and I'm right here now, so I'm gonna pay him back. I'm gonna get like a coffee and just chill out for a bit. Oh, it's nice. Let me show you around. Nice, nice, nice. Cafe is up there, so let's get a coffee.
Seagull. Seagull. <laughs> Look at all of them. The caves like I slept in last night. All along the cliffs. Like people used to live there and like it's crazy to think how they even excavated them. It's dangerous along there. What? Nice, that is cool. Whoa. You know like the waves they create, like boats when they go past. You see like the white water, it just sends huge waves. It's actually quite fun. So out there are these shipping lanes and that is south. If you kept going and you just let the, the sea take you, you would hit Africa, maybe Tunisia. Morocco, Libya, I don't know. Somewhere around that region. It's a big distance. <laughs> but it's very still today, very still. A lot better. I like it. She's good at that. <laughs> He is a pro at that, what? All the way in the distance, there is a lighthouse. And that lighthouse is, it's on an island on its own and it's only accessible by boat or kayak. And the plan tonight is to stay on the island. I know it doesn't look like it, but the lighthouse, it's about three miles away, just following the coastline. It doesn't look it at all. It is true what they say, you know, in a desert or in the sea, when you think of distance is X, like times it by, how about times it by X, I don't know. To me, that would be a mile away. Like, so, and it's three, three times that. They, uh, I don't know what that is over there. There's ladders you can climb that. What? I'm oh my, imagine camping up there. No. I can see the breakers. Once you're out, look at the waves over there, right over. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. Once you're out of that, you're in like the shipping lanes. Oh, I'm having a blast. I am having a blast. Nearly there. Just over there. Man. I've done some miles today. Yesterday was like, I thought it was tough, but I've done double that today. It was just nice to like lean forward and stretch legs up. Hey, whoa. Oh, it's actually getting real now. Whoa. It's come out of nowhere. So th this is the very tip of, so it's the southeast tip of Menorca. And the current is coming this way and the wind is bad. Oh, look at these. It's when you hit them side on, it's sketchy. I'm gonna have to head that way so it takes me. I have to get wet. <laughs> Kayak is hidden away just behind that little bush. Uh, now we can explore the lighthouse. So, look at all my stuff. Just a long path to it. There's a rabbit right there. It doesn't think I can see it. <laughs> Black and white, I kind of like that. 
different from the red and white. So, I mean, I can go in there, shelter from the wind, or behind a wall. Oh, this is great. It's all flat, clean. Yes, yes. I wonder if you can get up there. Actual houses. It's quite old. Should we have a look? Oh, I might, I might make this my place tonight. Oh my, the, the sound, it's so good. Sound deadening, you could record like podcasts in here, what? <laughs> I actually think this island, I think I've got it to myself. I mean, I look like I've been through a world war, but I feel good. So these are like, these are definitely a few hundred years old. They were toilets, it looks like. Oven. It's not a crematorium, is it? Nope. <laughs> Hope not. I'm gonna have a look at the front and see if we can get in. Yeah, just as I thought. Inside is locked. Double locked, actually. You can't actually climb in. Let's have a look anyway. Would have been cool to see a lighthouse. Can't be. Gonna make myself some food. This side of the island is, is covered from the wind, so it's great. In the shade. Oh, I am hungry. Like, trembling hungry. You know what, I'm gonna call this island Natural Selection Island because it is so much tougher to get to than I originally first thought. There was even reviews on Google saying, yeah, it's a great island just from families who come here. I don't think anyone's done it by kayak because there's not a landing area. Like you had to beach yourself on these rocks and it is difficult. Even I pulled my kayak onto the shore and there was a, Two people came in a boat and it looked like they were struggling. So I said, do you want some help? Because they were trying to tie the uh, the rope onto like the side bit. I don't know the terminology, but they said no. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then they were there for like five or 10 minutes just struggling. And then eventually they just give up and went back to the mainland in Menorca. <laughs> Only the toughest get here. Like... I am beat from that. That cross in there was crazy. There's a black lizard right there. What is this? There's a, I'm getting swarmed by lizards. I hope they don't bite. <laughs> There's one right here. These are the most curious lizards. Oh my, they're, they're attacking me. I've got some cheese. Just watch this. It's them, oh my, they fight each other. They're actually eating it. I mean, I don't really like feeding wild animals, but there's so many of them. <laughs> what is this? I never thought I'd be feeding black lizards in Menorca. Cheese as well. Come on. Meal time. No. I think I've figured out they're after the water. I think they're really thirsty, so. Let's see. Come on, guys. For a meal, I have this chicken tikka curry with rice, and this is gonna go down a treat. Oh yeah, so got my gas over there. Got some electrolyte tablets and lots of water. So let's get it on.
hydrated. This place is great. For the first time in like the whole adventure here in Menorca, I feel like I've actually got the place myself. That's a good feeling. This food should be done now, so I'm gonna get down me. Yep, that's ready. Oh, it's good. It's exactly what I need after a, a long day. Well, that went down super well. I need to show you what my clothes look like after a day of kayaking, so my sun hoodie and this isn't sweat patches I know it looks like it but it isn't it's when the salt water splashes on you dries and it just repeats it all day and it just solidifies and it's so abrasive like it gets on your skin and yeah that's what it does I never thought it yeah it never crossed my mind to be honest there we go That's fine, so I can leave that there. My gear is away. Now, I can watch the sunset. It's just, no words. You know, originally when I planned this, I wanted to hire a car out. I actually booked a hire car and I was gonna you know, go around the island and check it out. But as soon as I heard about you could rent a kayak for a few days, my mind was swayed. <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. It is by far the best way to see islands, like especially in the Mediterranean. <laughs> oh, it's all worth it. Like right now, this very moment, Good morning. I slept well. It's a bit windy, but all good. All good. Everything is away. Now time for some breakfast. Sausage and cheese wraps. Hmm. So I'm heading, I'm gonna head straight over and then hug the coastline. Here it is, good old kayak. <clears throat> and on another adventure we go. Well, actually this is the last Last time I'll be in this kayak. Uh, it's got to go back. So, all well, the three days are up. So there's two kind of the yachts over there. To the right is where I'm heading to take this back. So I've got to slip in and enjoy it. Enjoy it while we can. So thank you. What did I call it? Natural Selection Island. <laughs> No one else is here. It's nice and calm in this bit, but as soon as you get out, yeah, let's go. Goodbye, island. You've been nice to me.
goodbye lighthouse, goodbye black lizards, bunny rabbits, to you all, have a nice life. <laughs> okay. So last time I just headed straight and that was a bad idea, so I'm gonna head inland, right to that coast over there. So you can see all the wind coming in. That is the tip over there, and then creates all these huge waves. Because the, the south of the island is actually really sheltered. Woohoo! Oh, this is madness. island is just a distant memory <laughs> just like that across that straight very quick <sighs> Woo! coastline oh I'm happy to see you <laughs> nice yacht Oh, I love this place. Hey. Come on. Amazing kayak. I need to show you this. Cacao lat. It's chocolate milk and it is great. Nineteen thirty three. If you ever come to Menorca, try this. Got a half eaten crushed croissant. Oh, yeah, it's good. Mm. So I'm just chilling at the moment. Being a tourist on holiday, I love it. It's nice to change the pace, switch it up. I say we have a look around. I'm in flip flops, so. Don't fall. Mm -mm. This is cool, man. It's a super, like, really, like, pointy rock. <laughs> so I've been here for a couple hours now, just chilling, sunbathing, got a nice tan. Oh yeah. Electricity. Oh, very nice. Balcony, pool. Just what the doctor ordered.
you know, I think I've found the perfect place to end it. I'm sitting right across from the lighthouse that I stayed at the other night. There's a, there's a nice breeze coming in, the smell of the ocean. It's not too hot, slightly overcast, perfect really. And I've enjoyed it. It was a totally off the cuff adventure. Didn't think I'd be kayaking this time last week. I thought I'd just be renting a nice car. I don't know, just chilling really. But no, turned it into an adventure and I'm glad I did. I was uh, at times kayaking, sea kayaking anyway, in kind of rough waters. Wow. Hats off to people who do it because it's, it can be scary. It can be quite scary. Just, I'm glad I didn't capsize, put it that way. But I've enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Ah, man. Life just keeps getting better, you know. It does. See you in the next one.